Okay. I just got some fake Apple AirPods. Welcome to VNTN Laos. This is the capital city of Laos, a very beautiful country, but should you come to the city? A lot of people told me, oh, it's not worth coming to, but I'm gonna tell you and have a look around and see if it is worth it. We have just come up to the Champs-Élysées of VNTN. Look at this, this looks beautiful. If you didn't know, Laos used to be a French colony and when they got independence, they made a Champs-Élysées right here in VNTN Laos. I tell you what, the traffic here is a lot worse than Bang Vieng or Luang Prabang. There's a lot more people in this city. I think there's a one million, almost one million people compared to like seven million in the whole of Laos. This is by far like the most historical kind of grand thing that I've seen in Laos whilst we've been here. But what kind of spoils it, there's loads of like cellars at the bottom. And so like it kind of like takes away from like this whole historical kind of thing. But you know, everyone's got to make some money. I tell you what as well, it is so much warmer in this city than it was in Luang Prabang and Bang Vieng. I don't know if it's because we're like a lower altitude or whatever it is, but it's warm. One important thing I would say, if you come into Vientiane from Vang Vieng, don't take the train. It's so expensive and honestly, there's so much like booking fees and stuff. Just take the bus. There's literally like a dual carriageway, which is I think the only one in Lao. So yeah, take the bus, it's so much cheaper. Right, let's head back to the hotel and grab Amelia because apparently there's a cool night market. I kind of want to show you and like just see what it's like really. But one thing is, all these tuk-tuks here are so expensive. Like there was a 15 minute walk when we dro got dropped from the minibus um, and they were charging like five pounds, 100k, which I know doesn't sound a lot, but like for Lao, that is so expensive. So we just walked because obviously we can just walk. Um, so yeah, just one thing to take into account. Hello, we are just on our way to the night market. It's about a 15 minute walk from our hotel. Yeah, uh, the night market is based on like the Mekong River, well, close to it. But if you cross the Mekong, guess where you go? Thailand. Thailand, but we're not obviously going to Thailand tonight. So that is your th sign to Thailand, Friendship Bridge. I think that's like the crossing over to Thailand. It shows Lao and Thailand seem to be very good friends with their Friendship Bridge. I like yeah. it. So I think we're just coming up to the night market now. It's such a, it's like a little park round here and it's so lovely. It's really peaceful actually. It's so different to Thailand. Yeah, Thailand night markets are just hustle, like bustling around, but this seems really chilled out. It's also very hot and I'm regretting bringing this shirt now. So. It does feel like quite a local market, doesn't it? It does, it's not very busy. Um, maybe this isn't the main market yet, but then it's not a lot. This is Lao, so this is probably busy for Lao. Yeah, true. <laughs> the most chilled out country we've been to. It is very to. chilled out. I don't know about you, but I want to get some food. I'm actually starving. Oh, I'm starving. We had a little lunch earlier when we arrived, but yeah, I'm so ready to eat. So yeah, we're let's... gonna go find the food section. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> There is so much selling going on. This is like a very local market. Everyone's getting really cheap clothes, look, 15,000 kit. That's like 75p for all these different clothes here. Yeah, in Luang Prabang, everything was a lot more expensive, wasn't it? Yeah, there's some pretty good deals here, actually. Uh, uh, I just got a beer Lao. This honestly is one of my favorite beers. It is so good and they're really cheap in Lao. I've just got a Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. Right. Do you want to try the Pad, ta pad Thai or Pad Lao? They do look a bit different, but give it a go. Give it a little go. Mm. Yeah? Is it good? It's quite nice. It doesn't taste like regular Pad Thai that you'd have in Thailand, but they're still pretty good noodles. I'm not sure what they are, but it tastes good. Try it. So yeah, this Pad Lao is, I mean, it's okay. I don't think it really is Pad Lao. It's just like flavored noodles, um, but it's decent. It's okay. Maybe like a six out of 10, but I tell you what, this beer Lao is so good. <laughs> and this literally costs 75p, which is such a good deal. Honestly, beer in Lao is so cheap and I've probably drunk too much of it, haven't I? Yeah, with every meal. With every meal. Not it, every meal, but. But it's practically as cheap as water, so why not get one? Uh, uh, and Small. We've got mango sticky rice. Here we go. This mango sticky rice is so good. I'm gonna miss this when we leave now or wherever you hung it. So good. So behind me is the river and then in the distance is actually Thailand, which is so crazy. Like you can't really see the river right now, but it's kind of weird just knowing there's another country right there. <laughs> yeah. But you can't yeah, you can't even see the river, but the lights in the distance. These ones, that is Thailand. Yeah. I want to explore this little theme park going on over here. 
it looks quite cool. Yeah, they've got like a little fun fair going on or something. They, I did see a bouncy castle, so Maybe it we'll... is cheaper than I might try and have a go. <laughs> So we have just found this amusement park, so we might try and go down and see if we can do something. Look at this place, it looks awesome. Think you fancy going on? Mm, I don't know, I like the look of this ferris wheel. Yeah, it looks cool. Doesn't look too safe though. Yeah, I feel like we're too big for those baskets. Yeah. What What do you have to do? What do you, you throw a dart? Three. Three? Three dart? Yeah. And three pop? Yeah, three. Yeah. He said three. So if you win, you win a drink. Okay, hold this. Right, I'm getting three darts, I think. Actually, I'll go, I'll go six. I'm going for six darts. Six darts to win a beer. Six darts to win a beer, here we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Woo! I'm two in a row. Pressure's on. Ready? Go! <laughs> Alright, I've got three more. I've got three out of three. Here we go. One. Ah! That's my first fail. <laughs> One more. Yeah. Oh. Five out of six. One. Okay. I've got to be allowed. Five but out of six. Five out of six, I'll take that. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, you can have it. Bye, bye. Yay, thank bye. you. <laughs> that was good fun. I got a five out of six, which is pretty good if I'm honest. Anyway, that was great fun in that amusement park. Um, we didn't do any other, other activities, but yeah, definitely recommend checking it out. That's probably one of the best things to do in VNTN. Am I right? No, it was good fun. I feel like a lot of the stuff is unfortunately designed for kids, so I don't know if we'd fit on it, but. Yeah. Uh, cop chai. Cop chai. So I've been needing new earphones for a while, so I just got some fake Apple AirPods, AirPods Pro. So I'm going to check these out and see if they're actually going to work because I'm, I'm, well, I'm sure they'll work, but I'm just not sure how good they're going to be. Like, or how long they'll last. How long they'll last as well. So we are just trying out these Apple AirPods Pros and they literally come up like, like a usual Apple one would. It's so weird. Like, I'm, these could be real, no, well, not real, but like, you know, like a fake real kind of made in the same factory kind of thing. Yeah, it's crazy because like your iPhone literally was treating them as real AirPods. Like yeah. all the systems you'd have to go through to set them up was exactly the same. It's crazy. It's so crazy. And this cost me just under 15 pounds. So absolute bargain. Okay, so we are heading back to our hostel hotel now um, and we'll see you in the morning when we get up to something else in VNTN and see whether you should come here. Good morning from VNTN. We are still in the city. We are actually leaving tonight on an overnight bus to Dondet, right in the south. But first we're gonna explore the city a little bit more. We're going somewhere really, really cool, this cafe, but with a bit of a twist and we'll show you once we get there. Here we are, look, a cat cafe. So we are inside this cat cafe and look what we have in front of us. A massive cat. <laughs> it's huge, but it's so for the people. Oh, he's a little bit jumpy. He's so yeah. cute though. He's so cute. I've never seen so much fluff on a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? Yes. <laughs> so cute, so fluffy. <laughs> I've just got my food and an iced cappuccino. It's very good. And we've got some chicken rice, which we love, don't we? I'm obsessed with this cat. So we have just finished off at the Cat Cafe and honestly the food is actually really good and that ice cappuccino was very nice too and it wasn't too expensive was it? No it was actually pretty cheap and you don't have to pay to go in there if you can just walk in which is so nice. We're going to walk down to the river now and just have a look and see if we can see Thailand again um, but honestly there is like lots of different temples and museums but we don't really fancy doing them today like we've already seen quite a few temples here in Laos so maybe if it was your first time like first place in Laos it would be would be a bit more interesting but yeah we're kind of i think we're a little bit templed out after little... thailand as well <laughs> and then we've got going to cambodia next which is going to be full of temples as you probably know so yeah that's why we're not going to those spots we are right next to the president's house so maybe that was the president himself with a police escort 
I'll tell you one thing you do find a lot here is very expensive like Porsches and like Mercedes and BMWs and then like this is quite a poor country but you have like really expensive cars yeah and the, most of the cars look really new like not beaten up and old like a lot you see in Thailand it's crazy yeah it feels very eerie and quiet around here I feel like this should be like one of the big main parts of the city and there is no one around this big monument it almost feels deserted or something yeah like we're in a deserted city everyone's run away is that Thailand? I think that is Thailand over there Let's have a little chat about Vientiane and our opinions of this city. So obviously Vientiane is the capital of Laos and it is probably the best place to get transport all the way around. If you want to fly to another city in Laos or yeah, get a bus going south or north, then this is the best place to base yourself. However, if I'm honest, there is not loads to do here. Honestly, one night, two nights at a push and you'll pretty much do everything. There are museums, as I said, and like other temples you can go to, but honestly, like I don't think they're that interesting. We had a look at reviews online and we've already been to quite a few temples here in Laos so we didn't really fancy doing that ourselves. So yeah if you are coming to Vientiane make sure you only do one night, two nights. What are your opinions of this city then? Um, it, there's a lot of nice like cafes and restaurants to visit and like it's very chilled out. You can walk around really easy like easier than anywhere in Asia basically because there's paths everywhere, there's lots of parks so it's quite a nice relaxed vibe but honestly i don't think you need more than a day if that here thank you so much for watching please please hit the subscribe button it helps us to keep on traveling living the dream if you are coming to vntn let me know if there's anything else you should do whilst you're here and tell others thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next video see you later bye, bye.